Oh, that's right. Good. Emily and Roger talk cooking and cats in five, four. It already started. Oh, did it already start? Oh, I guess we're ready to go. Okay, um, this is take two, right? You're gonna start being a little bit more serious on these videos. Are you? Because the first serious thing we have to talk about, because it's supposed to be, me and, you're, me and you're supposed to talk, be talking about cooking and cats, right? Was that the name of the, our videos? You can't put them to sleep over the video, Emily. That only works on um, Crocodile Dundee. So, um, first thing, you know, you know our cat Bootsy, everyone's seen our cat Bootsy? I think Bootsy may have been raised by dogs. You think so? The way he acts? He's always sitting by our feet. He always comes around running out to meet me when I get home from work. He knocked over a table today. Knocked over a table outside, yep. Got He's, scared by my feet. He gets spooked by your feet. Your big, well, I get spooked by those too, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> your big fuzzy slippers. It was just when I was wearing socks, though. Oh, that's right. And he and hit for, remember he hit Backed his into something and didn't go, didn't go in his tunnel for two weeks. That's right. Oh, he didn't hide, yeah. He didn't hide in his tunnel. He didn't even go in his tunnel. Because you bumped his tunnel or something, didn't you? Then he ran no, away. my feet were in his tunnel, and he was he walked in, and I moved my feet like I wiggled them like this tiniest bit. I was ah! and he ran like backed up and ran and backed up into something, and then scared him so much and he went and hid and he wouldn't go in his tunnel for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then, and then plus we have our our little fish situation. Indoor fish. Our indoor fish. <laughs> what exactly is an indoor fish, Emily? That doesn't belong in this house. Oh. And not tank. Not that kind of house. I mean, like little mushroom or castle. Well, it's a little in the little, tank. It's a little castle. So he's an indoor fish. Yeah, indoor sure. fish inside his tank. Yes. Mm -hmm. Snow fish just won't go out of his yeah. He only goes out to eat. Like, rarely. The food just floats into his. <laughs> it does just float in. Well, he's, maybe he's a smart fish. A big fish. fatty McFatty Fetters died. Or a big fat pregnant fish that we had. What was it uh, Big Bob? Or biggest Bob. Biggest Bob, that's we right. We still have Big Bob. There's Bob, Bob, Bigger Bob, and Biggest and then Bob just biggest died. Bob, biggest Bob just died. We have bad luck with like, fish. Well, no, we don't have bad luck. Just like some of those fish. Well, All the fat ones, yeah. I don't know what kind of fish it was. Was it a guppy or, or a big tetra? I think it was a fat tetra. Fat tetra? Like a really fat tetra. Mm. Guys, remember when Spot was pregnant or constipated? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. No, not Spot. Oh, yeah, it was Spot, wasn't it? You're thinking of Meta Spot. No, which was the other pregnant one we had? Was it Spot? No, it was... Shrimp? Shrimp. Mama no. Shrimp. Remember we had that Spider fish? Shrimp. You put that fish in that little, that little holding thing? That was Spot and Pinky. Oh, was it? And Spot was... No, Pinky was the pregnant one. No. No, it was Spot. Oh, that's right. No, yeah, I don't remember. Pinky just died. Oh, that's Not right. Bad for Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. Just lost her best, 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 best friend. Yeah. Or maybe even girlfriend or mm -hmm. boyfriend. I don't know. Okay, now on to uh, onto the cooking portion. So Emily, I got this can of sliced mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms, do you? What? So sliced mushrooms, like this can of no-name mushrooms I have here. How come no matter what you do to these mushrooms, I can cook them anyway, saute them, boil them, fry them, whatever. They'll come out looking like they just came out of the can, just hot. So today's experiment will be, can I alter the, uh, how these mushrooms look? This, I bet uh, I can. You can? Yeah. You can't chew them, and you can't, you, they have to stay sliced. Then I'll slice them even more. You can't slice them even more, they have to stay like this. Just by cooking them, we have to change them. Whoa. Do you know where these mushrooms came from, Emily? Okay, just give me a blowtorch. China. Product of China. Just give me a blow. How come we're getting our mushrooms from China? Can't we grow mushrooms here? Interesting. If you give me a blowtorch, I'm better than all to the shape. Do you cook with a blow? I do have a blowtorch. I got a little cooking blowtorch. We'll try it. So, blowtorch, then we'll try and change the mushrooms. I know if we can get a plum, maybe. Plum? Yeah. Big double cheeseburger. That's a that's a dessert, like a round dessert, like a chocolate plum. I love those things. Oh. It's about so in this video, we're going to we're going to do the mushrooms. We're going to do something fancy. We're going to make shrimp quenelles, and that's a real thing too. Not like <laughs> what was the last the other quenelles that I made? Oh, is that stuck? 
Okay, it's unstuck. So we're gonna make salmon quenelles. We're gonna use the pressure, not the pressure, yeah, pressure cooker. I'm gonna cook uh, beef back ribs in the pressure cooker. That'll be exciting, eh? Hope it doesn't blow up. Oh God, is your face stuck? <laughs> <laughs> How long can you hold your hold that face for? While you're doing that, remember I, I always call myself Chef Rad Dad. Well, then look, they sent me something in the mail. It's from your school. It's not from my school. It's a Chef Rad Dad. Um, what's this thing called? I remember when you got it from your school. I got it from my school. Along with that certificate. Oh, my certificate. It's uh, on the wall. Oh yeah. Of food and nutrition management. Do you like these puffy hats, huh? Do you like the puffy hats or the paper hats better? All right, looks like Emily's face is stuck, so let's get cooking. So we're gonna do salmon quenelles. We're gonna poach them. We're gonna do uh, beef back ribs in the pressure cooker. Sauteed uh, like vegetables. It's gonna be like an east meets west type of thing. Uh, sauteed like stir fry. And then we're gonna add our mushrooms. We're gonna blow torch them and pan fry them. And then uh, see if we can change them. You ready to go? Are you ready? Wait, is that all my stuff on my notes? Oh, and remember you asked me about cookery? My grandma's book was called a cookball. Your great grandma's book was called a cookery? Her cookery book? That's what they that's what they, they're called in England. I don't know, they just probably don't call them that anymore. But I have like that Beaton's book of like how to take care of a household. That they have things called a cookery, cookery books. Are you that surprised it's called a cookery M? <laughs> so it's just a it's, it's an English word. Cookery. Cookery. Cookery! Do you know Julia Child? When I was in uh, in school in Toronto, she came to our school, right? Dad, this is yes. Oh, Julia Child! Yeah, Dad, Dad, this is yes. yes. This is yes. This is no. Do you see my eyes? Wait. Don't worry. Okay, let's get cooking. And then? Oh, yeah. Yes? Do you like disco? No. Good. No, I'm talking about like, this is yes. Look at my neck. Remember last week was your neck? This week is my neck. Still my neck. Dad, it's still my neck. Never. How do you do that? You like a giraffe? <laughs> I think our heads aren't connected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get cooking. <laughs> okay, my mushrooms, all that's happened is they're dried out. Okay, that they changed consistency from uh, now they're just burned. They don't look a whole lot different though, do they? No, they don't. Emily and Roger talk cooking, and we're making, what are we making, Emily? Shrimp moussaline. No, shrimp moussaline. Shrimp moussaline. Shrimp moussaline. Okay, we're going to have to speak a little bit louder, because I have the, uh, I got the, the uh, beef pork ribs. Look at your big head. The beef pork ribs, or beef, beef pork ribs. The beef back ribs in the pressure cooker. Okay, stop being silly. Okay, so Em, what's the first thing you're going to do? We're going to make a shrimp moussaline. This is the future. Oh, geez. Okay, put the egg back on the counter. Okay, go in the fridge. There you go, future. And get, get the shrimp out. Pour the shrimp into the, the mixing bowl. You have to work a little quickly, Em, because the shrimp, when you're making a mousseline, Emily, everything has to stay cold. Okay? Okay, yeah, put that there. Duh. Okay. Ice on. I know, I want it cold. I'll get the cream out. I put cream in there. Another little container. Gotta work quick, then. Put that, put that in the sink. Okay, now put your lid on. Not yet. Egg? A hag? Put your hag on. Wait. My hag on? Okay. Take the mixer off. I'll pour into that bowl. Watch out, the blade's gonna fall out. It smells like shrimp. Okay. Okay, put that bowl in the, uh, put the mixture into the sink. Okay, in the freezer, in the, open the freezer. There's a yellow bowl there, get that bowl out. It's got ice in it. Okay. Put that into the, into the fridge.
Put that bowl into that yellow bowl. In the yellow bowl? Just put that bowl right on top. Oh. It has to stay cold, Emily. Uh, I think Put it on the bottom. Okay, so yeah, now we're going to make the uh, the shrimp quenelles, alright? I was playing cat game. There's our shrimp. Our shrimp mixture? I was playing cat game. Okay, I'm watch this. Yes, it is actually called cat game. Watch how I'm doing this. Some of you might know. Roll up your it. sleeves. Uh, Why do I have to keep telling you this? Because I don't want to. Okay, move your little hands. So watch what I'm doing. Emily, watch what I'm doing. Take a spoonful, and a spoon, and a spoon. Like that. And it's gonna be shaped like a little what? Like little something. Quenelles, Emily. And then into the water. You're doing pretty good, actually. Huh? No, you're not. <laughs> How many quenelles do you want? Three? Okay. <laughs> do you or don't you? Okay. Three? Yeah. Okay, my three are in. I do the vegetables while you're doing that. Stir fry veg. Ooh. No, no, <laughs> jeez, it'll splash back at you. Mm. It's gonna break up too. Do your, no, don't shrug your shoulders. It's wrong, Emily. Uh. Do you want to burn your? Oh no! Like, watch how I do it. And let's drop it in. Like, put your whole spoon basically in to shake oh, yeah. it off. All right. You do another one, okay? Yeah. Don't. Why are you going that for? I don't know. If you want. Are you watching how I'm doing it? Yeah. You're doing like you're doing good. Like, just do it properly. And tell me when I can put it in. When you get the right shape. Right. Watch me again. Take you start with your bottom spoon like that, and then. Place it in. Don't drop it in. Get, get your elbow off the counter and stand up straight. It's a lot easier, Emily. You want to try with my spoons? Maybe they're more rounded for you or something? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hold on to your arms while you're doing it? Why? Like, so I can... You can kind of see how you do it. Okay. Take a spoonful. See, like this. Oops. <laughs> see, it's not always... A... These Come on, rubber arms. <laughs> Here, try it with my spoons. Why is there three? Because I have scooping one. So you scoop it out. Like this. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> but you get the idea. It's hard when you're holding someone yeah. else's spoon. That's, that, that's, the, that's the... I don't even know what's going on. It feels, like that, so, it feels right. so weird. Yeah. But that's the that's the you're trying to do, okay? What was it? That's, that's, that's